Greetings, my friends. Martial law is coming. It's coming to America. It's coming to the world. Believe what you want to believe. Think what you want to think. It doesn't matter. It's on the way. The only way that true Christians will be able to escape it is if Jesus Christ comes in the imminent rapture, our paws are catching away before all hell breaks loose on this dying, diseased, wicked planet. <clears throat> I'm going to give you advice from a three-time frontline combat veteran. Tell you what to do. Tell you how to best defend your family. Not give you some kind of a bogus rehash, something that someone else thought about or, or, or maybe thought was good. I'm giving you the expertise from a man whose life's been on the line over and over and over and over and over and over again, serving with Marine Recon, with Marine Infantry. And we're going to break it down. First of all, you need a plan. You need to arm yourself legally, not illegally, legally. Arm yourself the way that the law provides. I've got a 12 gauge shotgun over my left shoulder, six rounds, five in the chamber, one in the tube. Got a couple 25 round bandoliers with shotgun shells. You see them right here with the gold tip, ready to go, double up buckshot. Got my sidearm, my pistol with five magazines, legal magazines ready to go. Over my right shoulder, I've got my nine millimeter carbine rifle that's legal and I've got legal magazines for it a whole ton of those got lots of rounds got lots of mags got a nice tactical vest not worrying yet all kinds of gear that I know how to use that I'm a pro using you need to make sure that you arm yourself legally make sure that you go to a shooting range or go outside if you live somewhere where you can shoot outside legally and hone your skills. Practice until you are an expert. Practice until you can knock a, a Coke can off of a log or, or hit the target center mass repeatedly the best you can over a number of shots. Make sure your family is trained how to shoot. And at a bare minimum, make sure that you've got your wife or your husband, if your wife's a shooter, your husband, whoever it is, make sure they're, they're trained to load magazines for you because you're going to need to have mags loaded at all times. And I recommend getting a nice magazine loader as well. I've got one of those. It's really, really cool. It makes speed loading very, very quick. And come up with a plan of how to defend your home. Look at all the places you have large windows or any kind of windows on the first deck or, or a deck below the first deck that can be accessed from the outside. If you got dogs, make sure they're always ready to go. Make sure they are ready to in key places where they can bark loudly to let the people know your house has uh, dogs. They don't know how mean they are or not. The bark itself will get them. Make sure your house is well lit. Have really good LED lighting outside. Make sure you've got everything you need to defend your home. Get some really good masking tape. And you'll have to put big X, X's across your windows with masking tape that will help with the windows shattering if it's attacked. Because understand this. There are homes everywhere around your neighborhood. If you live out in the boonies, there's still homes out there. And when people start trying to attack your home and they start finding out that there are people in that home that are expert <laughs> experts with rifles and shotguns and pistols, and they start getting taken out, the word will go out that your house is a no-go, it's taboo, and the likelihood that you'll be disturbed a lot in the future has gone down. It's not guaranteed because people are going to want what you have. They want your food, they want your water, they want your money, they want your vehicles, they want everything. They want to, 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 to rape and murder and molest. Martial law happens, my friends, doesn't mean that the cops are in total control. It just means that the criminals have a lot more time to do things because the cops are busy trying to enforce martial law and the crooks are going to be out there. But have a battle plan. Know how to defend your stairwells. Know how to defend your living room, your bedroom. And make sure you never put your finger on the trigger of any weapon unless you are dedicated 100% to pull that trigger and to kill whoever is at the other end of the barrel of that weapon. And don't be afraid, don't hesitate. If you hesitate to pull that trigger, the bad guys won't hesitate and a split second can mean the difference between life and death. If you're trying to defend your family, you need to keep yourself alive and keep yourself ready to go at all times. Also, as a trauma medic with the Marines, I'm an expert 
at trauma medicine. Make sure you've got some belts handy. Make sure you've got some tourniquets handy. Some um, any type of, of rope handy that you can use or elastic for a tourniquet. If you get shot in the arm or shot in the leg, that you can control the bleeding. Make sure you've got some bandages to control the, the, the bleeding of that wound. Some alcohol, rubbing alcohol, some peroxide, some big tubes of bath tracing. Make sure you've got some ACE wrap to wrap around it. Make sure you've got supplies to get yourself ready to go. Have plenty of bottled water. Have plenty of food that's shelf stable that you can eat on. Not to worry about cooking because your gas might be out. Your power might be out. Have lots of lanterns and flashlights with batteries. Have a backup generator if there is still gas available to be able to run things if the, if the power goes out. Have your car is gassed up to the max. Have extra gas cans to fill up generators and, and cars because things, when all hell breaks loose, and martial laws can come out of the blue, my friends, and when it happens, all hell's going to break loose and you won't have much time at all to get ready to go anywhere. You better make sure you're ready. Have your sidearm. Start practicing having your sidearm with you at all times. Carry it around with a belt with your extra ammo mag mags with you. And have weapons strategically placed around your house. And again, I can't say enough. Make sure your weapons are legal, bought legally, registered if, if need be, and totally, totally done the right way. That's the way it's got to be done. And who knows in martial law, they may try to come and take your weapons. So we don't know what will happen when it all comes loose, but you've got to be willing to defend your family and yourself to the death. That's just the way that it goes down. And I don't care about dying. The Lord has saved my life so many times, dozens of times in frontline combat and other times when I should have been dead. He saved me. I'm living on borrowed time, and my family is a lot more important than I am, and I will defend them to my last breath. So I'm just telling you what to do, telling you what you need to do. Now, above all of this stuff, I'm a Christian. This is a Christian's uh, channel, and the Lord Jesus Christ and God give you, in the Bible, they give you several scripture that says that you not only can you, but you are required and demanded by them to defend your family from uh, from terror and, and, from, and from murder and rape and molesting and from being killed. So you make sure that you do that. And you make sure that you're right with Jesus Christ. Make sure you're saved if you've never been saved by his precious blood. It's very, very important because if you do die, and most people will, because I don't care how skilled you are. I don't care how many thousands of rounds you may have. Eventually, the, the sheer numbers can get you if things get bad enough. And when you take that last breath, you need to make sure you're right with Jesus because you spend forever in heaven or in hell and eventually the lake of fire. I got a prayer in the box below the video and six vital next steps. Pray that prayer. Do those steps as soon as possible. No one's guaranteed any more time in your life. If you'd like prayer, contact me. I'll pray for you every day. Christians, witness and pray for the lost daily. It's your job. If you're not doing it, do it now. And if you are, great. And look up our Dimpton Droth and I. We fly soon. And again, make sure your weapons are legal and make sure they are not automatic. My carbine, 9mm carbine, is semi-automatic. It's done the right way. Don't have anything automatic because it's illegal. Don't put yourself in a situation to have your weapons confiscated because they aren't the right way. Keep them legal, do the right things, and get prepared. Share this video with everybody you know, not just here in Obama land, formerly America, but in the entire world because things are about to get crazy. All hell is literally about to break loose. You guys take care of yourselves and have a blessed weekend.